So just flipped that log and found the slimy. Then flipped this one right next to it. I should have kept recording. I found this guy, little redback salamander. Oh, hey, stay cool. Too cool. Lifer for this one, too. It's a good day for salamanders. All right, go ahead back under. We're under the leaves, wherever you want to go. Nice. And another tiny redback. Too cool. That is neat. Oh, no. Oh. Get back here. Let me put you back under your log. Hopefully we actually find some adults today. Here. Oh, cool. <laughs> Flipped this rock right here and found another redback salamander. These guys are kind of the star of today. Wait. Pretty cool. Like I said, I'd never caught these guys before, but I guess they're common up here. Go ahead, go back under. Cool. They're right on the trail here. Bree found it. It's a juvenile timber rattlesnake. Almost died. Wow. So pretty. Look at you. You were absolutely beautiful. Hear a little rattle? Where there's one, there might be more. Uh oh. <clears throat> you are so pretty. Be careful. Look at you. These guys are the second native venomous species in this area. Other than the copperhead. Yeah, this is... What do you say? She might be probably about a year old, maybe two. Well, she's coming. This cave's coming. Okay, we'll let them know. All right, well... Got some good footage of her, so we're going to let her be and warn these people. Awesome. So as most of you in my videos have seen, I got these black rubber workout mats that I put out here. These are actually perfect snake flipping mats. And I've only found garters this year, but just flipped it and found this beauty. This is a juvenile, might have just hatched this year, eastern rat snake. Now the eastern rat snakes, they obviously get darker and almost a black color when they get older let me get this ant off my arm but when they hatch and they're just babies like this they have the gray color to them now i've been seeing everybody on all the groups that i follow catching these guys all year all i've seen were the adults which i'm not complaining about too much but it's always cool to see one of these guys absolutely love it i'm going to show my mom because she's the only one else in the family that loves snakes. And then we'll put you back under your mat. So you can go out and catch and constrict whatever you find. Too cool. What an awesome find. Our first rat snake on this property. Neat. So first snake of the day. It's actually pretty chilly this morning. Kind of in the high 50s. Flip this board. Almost didn't see this little baby ringneck. This guy is tiny. He's doing the whole trying to burrow into my hand routine. Yeah, under this huge board, I usually find something under this one. So, 
You are so small. Oh my, I almost didn't see him. Hey. Okay, we'll put you back. So I was looking for an adult black rat snake at this abandoned barn right here. And I was looking through these huge truck tires. Didn't find that, but see right there, there's just a green frog in there chilling. Kind of hard to see with the glare of the sun. <laughs> it's a herp. I haven't seen many frogs out. It's really chilly today, but the sun's shining on, shining on the uh, face of this barn, so I figured maybe some snakes would be out sunning. But I'll take it. So I'm out here at this one really rocky looking spot along this waterfall creek right here. I'm hoping to find some copperheads, but there's just not enough light shining for them to be coming out in the rocks, but didn't find that, but found this little guy, this pickerel frog. He scared me jumping across the path. I didn't know what he was. Hey, 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 hey. Be cool. Be cool. I mean, you no harm. But, yeah. Pretty cool. I always love finding these guys. They got such cool patterns on them. And they always got their yellow feet. I'm neat. I'm gonna let you get back to the creek. I guess that's where you're going. Go ahead. <laughs> so I've been out in the northwestern part of Cecil County trying to find copperheads all day and been striking out. And it's funny. On Thursday, I was out with Bree on the Appalachian Trail in PA and found my life for redback salamander. And I flipped this log right here. And what do I find? A redback. Beautiful one, too. Right? Pretty cool. Yeah, so. Cecil County. So this is still the Piedmont region. It's not, you know, like the Appalachian Trail. So, it's pretty cool to find these guys. Neat. Put you back under your log. This is the first herp of the day. It's been a dud of a day. Go ahead. Let's see if we can find some other stuff. So this was pretty cool. I flipped this board and one of the snakes got away. It was a double flip, but then on my walk back, not even five minutes later, flipped it again, and here it is. I've got a ring neck there. Let me put these guys down. See the little ring neck, and then this super angry garter. Ring neck, you can show yourself. Well, this thing bites me. Pretty cool double flip. They're like, let me go. Hey, you'd be nice. Showed you a ring neck, so I'm gonna let him go. You go back under there. And then, this is a very beautiful colored garter. Come here. Come here. Hey. Stop flailing. Man, look at that. Look at that pattern. This is one of the prettier garters I've caught this year. One of the more angrier ones. Look at you. Oh, you can bite all you want. Beautiful yellow pattern. Oh, yeah, you can bite all you want. These guys crack me up. They're so feisty. Here, get back under there. I'll let you go. Cool, double flip. I'll take it. Like I said, I flipped it probably 10 minutes ago and the garter ran away. And I was able to catch the 
ring neck and I put the ring neck back and then came back flipped it again and the garter was back so that's pretty cool nice gonna walk down here by the creek and check some of the rocks down here and if there's something under there you'll see it if there's not then that'll probably be the end of the video so as always thank you for watching but stay tuned. Who knows? There might be something else.